In the silent dawn A golden sun Soft kiss, warm smile The day's begun In the rising mist A quiet rain One whisper aside How to explain the touch The feel The fabric of our lives In the moonlit night A cold blue haze Gay laughter, sad cries These mark our days The touch With trusting eyes, the children show Minds open, hearts true, our spirits grow The touch, the feel, the fabric of our lives The touch, the feel of cotton the most dramatic major golf tournament so far this year, down to the last stroke. He knew and we'll look at the PGA Championship just ahead. Almost had a stroke watching. <laughs> so you understand why David Scott Roberts is so proud of his water skiing abilities? You see this teenager is skiing on only one leg. And get this, that is not his. It is a prosthetic leg. David Scott lost both his legs in a water skiing accident when he was four years old but now he's helping show other kids with disabilities how they can enjoy the water. It's part of the All Can Ski program at SeaWorld in San Antonio. 15-year-old David Scott Roberts and instructor Scott LeBlanc join us now from SeaWorld in San Antonio. Good morning, guys. How are you? All right. Doing great. You? Thank you. Boy, I, this is an amazing story. David, when we first heard about this, I said there's, n there's absolutely no way. What happened when you were four years old? We understand that you did lose both your legs, but what, what in the world made you want to go back in the water? Well, um, I heard about this All Can Ski program um, that Warm Springs was uh, putting on, help putting on, and uh, I just talked to my parents and told them that I wanted to come out here, and uh, it helped reintroduce me into this wonderful sport. Yeah, did your parents try, try to talk you out of it or <laughs> try to knock no. some sense in your head or anything, man? No, um, they were they're very supportive and uh, they just said, okay, you know, let's let's do it again. All right. So when you went back out for the first time, it had been what about 12 years or so, uh, 10 years after the accident. Is that correct? Um, I started coming out four years ago, so uh, it's about no. seven years. Yeah, All right. Seven years. So when you did it then for the very first time, what went through your mind? Um, 
just um, kind of an accident a little bit, but uh, I just, I was so happy to be out there again. Um, just, you're free on the water, you know, it's, it's a wonderful experience. Scott, you, you, these kind of stories, you work with these kind of people, these kind of kids all, all the time, I'm sure. But these kind of stories, you just, they've got to knock you out some. Oh, it, it's incredible. Uh, when you see David come out there, and uh, when he's out there skiing with his father, they're, they're out there skiing side by side. I'll tell you, it just brings tears to your eyes. Uh, I know I'm in the right business, and Warm Springs Adapted Sports Program is, is doing the right thing. Now, how did you get involved with this program, and, and how big is it now? Are you talking to me, sir? Yes, you, Scott. Yes, yes. I've been uh, doing adaptive sports programming for about 10 years, and uh, we serve about 700 people in San Antonio, and uh, it, it's a phenomenal, phenomenal program. But um, I just have a, a, a zest for, for doing this type of work. Mm -hmm. I, I love it. Yeah, and it, now the kids that come into this program, they, they, they have various types of, of uh, I hate to use the word disability, but uh, for lack of a better term there, they have various kinds that, that they're dealing with. And when you see them get out on the water, I mean, is, do you have to talk them out of any fears or, or do they, are they competitive, what? Oh, sure. There's a lot of kids that come out in our program that have tremendous amount of fears, just as you or I would be, uh, before we do uh, you know, a new project or new uh, recreation program. Uh, incredible amount of fears, but uh, these kids have overcome a lot of adversity in life and they want the challenge. Uh, and through the program, they, they develop a higher level of independence. What about happens, what happens when they do leave and they take that independence away from their program? Have any of them gone on to compete in it or anything like that professionally or? or oh, or, sure. Yeah? Yeah. David Scott, right beside us right here, has uh, gone on to nationals competition in track and field and held some national records when he was younger. Uh, he's gone to wheelchair basketball tournaments, and pretty much every tournament that he goes to, he comes out as the MVP of the tournament. No he's, kidding. He is a phenomenal athlete. Phenomenal. What are you shooting for, man? A Wheaties box? <laughs> uh, hey, I, I wouldn't mind. <laughs> well, listen, let's, let's see if we can bring the camera out uh, so we can see, get a look at your leg. I, I want people to see this when I ask you this question. You also are running track? And, right. playing, and you played soccer as well, is that correct? Yes. You've got to be kidding me. I, I complain when I, when I have a backache. And you mean to tell me you're out playing soccer and running track. What events do you run in track? Um, well, I don't run track anymore, but I actually, it was a wheelchair racing is what we did, like in the Paralympics. Ah, okay, gotcha. So what are you going to do now with this, with this newfound, or I guess this newfound love of, of water skiing and your ability to get back out there and, and do the different things you're, that you've always wanted to? What are you going to do with that now? Um, right now, I'm just enjoying it and life. Um, I don't know that I really don't want to take this anywhere to competition. I I want to end up being a doctor. Um, so this is just a just a hobby of mine. Well, listen, you're off to a great start. I tell you one thing, David. Uh, you've got the you got the determination to go on and be anything you want to be. We sure do. Thank you for coming, and David Scott Roberts and Scott LeBlanc. Thank you very much, and good luck. We want to keep an eye on you and see how you turn out, David. Have a good one. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Now we can't go without mentioning the fact that we here at CNN have a champion barefoot water skier in our very own midst. Our producer, Betsy Anderson, took home the gold and the silver medals in the National Barefoot Water Ski Championship in Fergus Falls, Minnesota. Don't know why they call it barefoot. She spends most of the time on her butt, as you saw there. Betsy got the gold in the women's tricks competition and the silver in the slalom, and there she is.